Welcome to Wide Net Gaming today, looking at Wargroove, a high res pixel art tactical game inspired by video games like Advance Wars, which came out years ago, and is currently on the Xbox Game Pass and available for $20 otherwise. And is really the only game like this, this generation, that is on consoles. Hmm. The game begins with a mysterious vampire that the player controls assassinating the king, and this sets into motion an invasion of the player-controlled faction of Cherrystone that at first escapes the invasion, traveling across the map, and as they do so, they kind of they run into the all the various factions along the way. The story, I mean, for the most part, is the kind of Saturday morning cartoon tongue-in-cheek, uh, not not serious type of a story, like the characters will fight each other just for fun, you know, not thinking of their units that are being killed in the process. Uh, the inspiration, though, is obviously, like, the undead are from, like, Irish or Celtic, and then you have, like, Heaven Song, the Asian-inspired one with the Child Emperor, even. It's pretty obvious. As I said, it's a tactical turn-based game. This is across land, sea, and air units, and there's a surprising amount of depth here. You also have terrain like mountains, forests, roads, deep oceans, uh, beaches, and then uh, weather effects as well that impact impact gameplay, like movement speed. Um, but you can see each of the characters, like their attack range, how much damage you'll do. The resource in this game is villages. You capture these by depleting the health of a village and then sending a suitable unit to capture it. Commanders are a separate element a little bit to this game. Um, they get their groove over time by attacking units and then they're able to use an ability like healing all the way to like defense or, um, or attacking units. The other two modes besides the story which is the campaign are puzzle and arcade. Um, these are all single player. With arcade mode it's similar to the story mode, the difference is that you can control the other commanders um, across different scenarios. So the the main story you're following Mercia you're seeing here, but then um, you see some other locked characters, but they all have different abilities, but each one of them has those those five missions. But it's a good way to, if you want to explore the other characters without playing online or doing your own own game, you can do that. With puzzle mode, it's you have one turn, and you need to send the correct unit to attack the correct correct unit. And there's there's different scenarios here too with the different characters. Uh, there's quite a bit of lore as you're playing the game. You accumulate stars, and you have things like um, with music tracks, and then um, art, like character art, and just uh, information about it. And you see. As you're as you're collecting it, and um, you have the different abilities like one, two, and three stars. Yeah. Appropriate background music and sound effects. It's pretty forgettable for the music, and then the for the sound effects, it's like late '90s, 2D you know, like pixelated game. You'd hear something like this. This is me searching for a random online match through quick play. I did this a few times, just couldn't find any button. And this is also true hosting a game. So the optimal time might be on the weekend. You can usually get a couple games that way. It's four players max, though across you can do local, online, with friends, everything. The neat addition though is the map editor. You can edit the maps and even campaigns. You can kind of put maps together. And you can customize really everything, from the income to like fog of war, everything. Again, the difference between the factions, they're all kind of reskins over each other, is the commanders. You know, like you have the healing, the attack. So you want to familiarize yourself with which commander fits your playstyle the most. No. I do recommend the game if you're looking for a turn-based tactical game. I mean, you just got to see past the, the pixel graphics. Um, there's just a surprising amount of depth here. Thanks for stopping by. Like, subscribe if you really liked it, and I will see you next time.